my last semester at a certain college, I was assaulted by a football player for walking where he was trying to drive. Note that he weighed 325 pounds, I was only 120. Whilst unconscious on the ground, I lived a different life. I met a wonderful young lady. She made my heart skip and my face red. I pursued her for months and dispatched a few jerk boyfriends before I finally won her over. After two years, we got married and almost immediately we birthed our first daughter. I had a great job and my wife didn't have to work outside of the house. When my daughter was two, my wife and I birthed our second child, a beautiful baby boy. My son was the joy of my life. I would walk into his room every morning before I left for work and doted on him and my daughter. One day, while sitting on the couch, I noticed that the perspective of the lamp was odd, like inverted. It was still in 3D, but just wrong. It was a square lamp base, red with gold trim on four legs and a white square shade. I was transfixed. I couldn't look away from it. I stayed up all night staring at it. The next morning I didn't go to work. Something was just not right about that lamp. I stopped eating. I left the couch only to use the bathroom at first. Soon I stopped that too, as I was not eating or drinking. I stared at the fucking lamp for three days before my wife got really worried. She had someone come and try to talk to me. By this time, my awareness of my surroundings was breaking up and my wife was freaking out. She took the kids to her mother's house just before I had my epiphany. The lamp is not real. This house is not real. My wife, my kids, none of it is real. The last 10 years of my life are not fucking real. The lamp started to grow wider and deeper. It was still inverted dimensions. It took up my entire perspective and all I could see was red. I heard voices, screams, all kinds of weird noises, and I became aware of pain. A fucking shit ton of pain. The first words I said were, I'm missing teeth, and opened my eyes. I was laying on my back on the sidewalk, surrounded by people that I didn't know. Lots were freaking out, and I was just completely confused. At some point, a cop scooped me up, dragged me across the sidewalk and grass, and threw me face down into the back of a cop car. I was still confused. I was taken to the hospital by the cop. Seems he didn't want to wait for the ambulance to arrive and give CT scans and other checks. I went through about three years of horrid depression. I was grieving the loss of my wife and children and dealing with the knowledge that they never existed. I was scared that I was going insane as I would cry myself to sleep hoping I would see her in my dreams. I never have, but sometimes I see my son, usually just a glimpse out of my peripheral vision. He is perpetually five years old, and I can never hear what he says. <laughs>